and welcome to Wise Guys Entertainment. This is your host, Wyman. Today, we are in this episode of Grubbin' on the One. Gr Grubbin' on the One. Gr Grubbin' on the One. Uh, we're trying out fun, new, different, even bizarre Insta foods for better or for worse. Today on Grubbin' on the One, we're checking out Poppin' Cookin' Tenoshi Donuts. So check this out. This is, these guys, I don't know how familiar you are with these, but these are freaking funny. You make your own little donuts, and as it indicates, so cute and so fun. Uh, it's DIY candy for kids. And yeah, I'm a kid at heart. So, it comes with these ingredients. This is kind of a popular thing. People love it, and it's so freaking adorable. So the contents include a tray, a spoon. My camera seems to be having issues focusing on the fly. Maybe it's just the quality of my camera being over 10 years old. Spoon, squeezable bag, sugar sprinkles, and six packets, which... I don't know if that's considered the batter or the different colors of frosting. It looks like you should be able to make a, a bear as well as a pink flower. So let's see here. Wow. All right. So we have the ingredients on this side. This is supposed to be best before December of n this year. All right, so let's see what we got going on here. This is the first time I'm making one of these things. There are a variety of them, and uh, although these are, well, these are imported from Japan, so you'll be able to find these at a lot of stores now. Um, let me see here. Comes with chocolate sauce, there's sugar sprinkles, there's crumbs, custard dough. What does that read? Naruni? I guess that's another name for frosting. Uh, vanilla sauce and strawberry sauce. And cocoa dough. It also says just add water, no bake. Advice for supervising adults. Adult supervision and assistance required. Make sure to follow the recipe. Images are for illustration purposes only. Please make uh, or make sure not to use included tools for purposes other than intended use. Be careful when handling sharp tools. Do not consume the powder directly. <laughs> oh man. Probably choke on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Make sure to use water for best results. Soft water or less than 300 parts per million, 17 DH. I'm not sure what DH is an abbreviation for. It is recommended do not heat. There are no display tools inside this product. Serve food immediately after making this kit. Cut into small amounts when eating. Save this package for future reference. All right, so by the statement, there are no display tools inside this product. I'm guessing there are no other instructions, so they're just like warning you not to damage this outer packaging when you make this thing. So one thing to make note of is this, which is kind of cool. QR translator. And uh, you can get the instructions in different languages. So, for those of you unfamiliar, QR is a technology whereby you get your smartphone, or basically a phone with uh, a camera and internet access, and you hover it over the code, and when it focuses in, 
it recognizes it on the uh, once I open it in the browser and then it loads it up on your browser and from there you can choose a different language of instructions if you don't understand English plus there's a how-to video uh, it tells you how to prep wash your hands well prepare a glass of water enjoy making pastries only using the packing pouch as a prep sheet use scissors to cut apart the tray as shown make dough fill round depression um, it looks like it basically says all this on the back of the the box too mix by pressing down with the back of the spoon until thick yeah so that's pretty cool to have that uh, QR translator yep so be mindful of that especially if you don't understand English so let's go ahead and open this up I hope this doesn't take long for me to make I'm, I'm generally pretty good with my hands and I've always been good doing Legos so hopefully I don't fail miserably at this in another video I showcase these uh, every burgers which are crackers and chocolate and I'm almost done with it so I'm gonna finish these off as I make these donuts So this outer packaging is showing that you can make, uh, shoot, kind of hard to do stuff backwards. You get different balls of uh, assorted colored dough and you can form it into funny little things like bears. And I guess that's supposed to be, that's either a smiley face or a snowman, I'm not sure. Oh, oh, all right. So it's got scissor marks. So I'm going to be careful how I open this. Oh, shoot. I'm already messing up. No, I'm failing. Failing hard. All right, so now we're going to cut this out as per the instructions. Huh. There's more than one mat. It would be nice if I had a, a kitchen table and a, a tripod to hold my video camera. Uh, let's see here. This is starting to look like I'm supposed to make two or three place mats or uh, dough rolling boards. Yeah, th this tiny food stuff cracks me up to no end. <clears throat> I 
what's even funnier is how much people enjoy you know making these little things I don't know what that says about society though <laughs> What's weird is it doesn't say to cut this edge off, this seam. It seems like it would lay flatter if you got rid of the seam. Wait, 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 wait. Is that a cut dot? Yeah, I guess that is a, a dotted line I'm supposed to cut on, not fold on. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How do you like it? How do you like it? Whoop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's treated you kind. Sweet destiny. Dun, 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 dun. The love that was waiting for me. Hey. Have to be stronger. I guess this is just uh, a sheet so you have reference on various things you can make. This sort of looks like a, a necklace actually, or a bracelet. So they're, they're quite creative. All right, I'm gonna set that aside because I don't think I'm gonna use that. And then I've got a couple mats here. Uh, you know what? Uh, just in case. I got these hard plastic, somewhat flexible boards cutting boards all right I think that's gonna be big enough all right so let's see here fill the round depression with water so we got all these oh man all right so fill the round depression with water whoa all right so there's a spoon Then add powder from the yellow packet. Oh shoot. You know what I should get? I should get napkins. I have some napkins available, people. Mm -hmm. Get some of that water back in. All right, that looks about right. Be right back. I didn't bring any napkins. Oh dear. Oh man. I got my keyboard wet too? Jeez. I added that much water? That'll show that'll teach me, maybe. Alright. And it said the yellow packet, right? Man, I should've I should have brought a garbage can over while I was at it too. Alright. So let's see here. Yellow packet. All right. So is this the oh this custard dough powder? Ooh la petite boulangerie. Ooh la petite boulangerie. Custard dough powder. Wow! Everything from this fell around. Add powder from the yellow packet. All right.
Whoa. Whoa. Powder's poofing out when I squeeze the bottom of the pouch. Okay. Dun 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 walk walk up. Yeah, I was saying how they they make all these other little kits too. You can make like tiny ramen noodles. You can make um, candy sushi. You can make tiny little french fries and burgers there's even this one that resembles a it's like a soda pop dispenser and you use uh, the fizzy water okay so this is getting clumpy mixed by pressing down with the back of the spoon until thick. Making these kits is kind of reminiscent of, you know, those astronomy and science kits that you can get for kids. That's except it's with food or a candy like materials I think that's where a lot of the appeal is mm -hmm. man this uh, spoon like mini shovel is real handy but and it's flexible, but I'm worried I'm going to snap it in two. I hope I can make everything without it breaking on me. Because this is the only one I have. And I'm trying to use only and exclusively the items that are included in the kit. Alright. Use your hands to knead the dough. Divide into two equal parts and round each into a ball. Ah, it kind of feels funny. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mmm, wow. Knead the dough, divide dough into two equal parts. I think it would be a kick to try one of those kits that has the hamburger and fries in it because it's like so realistic that you even oops, use uh, <clears throat> I guess part of the box to make the cartons for the fries and tiny little it's got little tiny little baggies for the uh, burgers and I mean, it's like so detailed and realistic looking. And uh, it's even got packaging that sort of resembles McDonald's stuff. All right, so I think that's pretty well needed. Okay, let's roughly split it in two. This doesn't look like a very good <laughs> split into two. All right, next, repeat steps in A with powder from the brown packet. All right, so I need water. Uh, let me see, how should I do this? Okay. 
Okay, is that the right amount of water? I think it's a little too much. Alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I ended up putting a napkin down here because I ended up spilling as I was expecting to do because I did earlier wah, wah, wah. alright so I got the water now we're going to do the same thing with the brown packet let's see what this says cocoa dough powder alright so I, did, I guess this is the equivalent of uh, making chocolate donuts I guess technically I, I could just cut all the way across the uh, top of the pouch instead of just cutting off a corner. But I'm mainly cutting across a corner because I wanted to control the flow of the powder as it comes out. Because that, the destination is a small container. Right, so let's check something here. I'm curious. Yeah, you can kind of smell that it's chocolatey. I don't remember what that little tune is from. I used to hear it a lot when I was a kid, and I used to repeat that little tune over and over. Man, I think I need more liquid. I wish I had like an eyedropper or something. So this time I did it so the water would drip into uh, the tray, but now I have to clean up the water in the tray because that's where my eventual donuts are going to go. I think that's Flight of the Bumblebee. But I could be wrong. But as Tim Burton used to say before he joined Star Trek, but you don't have to take my word for it. Oh my gosh, so how many of you ever used to watch I think it was on PBS there's a, a show called or a little segment of one of the children's programs called vegetable soup it would go like so come along and join us delicious soup come along we're gonna have some fun come along and join us delicious soup in a little bowl of vegetable soup. That was cool. I had these little segments where they teach you how to make stuff. It's sort of like cooking shows for kids. I was entertained. 
Yeah. Subjects on this channel jump from one to the next. You never know what you're going to be talking about. Speaking of which, you know what else is entertaining? Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. When they would do that segment and teach you how things are made. The one that always stands out for me, and maybe that's why I got into drawing, is the one where you got to visit, I don't know if it was actually the Crayola factory, but it was a crayon factory. So you can see how crayons are made from scratch, it's pretty cool. I should probably check out um, YouTube and see if somebody ever posted that up there. That would be a trip. Alright, so I think I got it enough water in there. Weird consistency. I think I'd be a little more comfortable <laughs> with the whole idea if it were more the consistency of like a dough because it's more of a familiar feeling in my hands. But you know, this when it comes to Insta food, what can you ask for? Can't complain too much, right? All right, so. I'm just smelling it again and it does in fact smell like cocoa powder all right <clears throat> bowls make donuts press dough balls into donut molds in the tray mold and remove donuts place them on the packing pouch what is the packing pouch? Which one's the packing pouch? How do you know? Oh, you know what? Oh, shoot. I forgot to separate these, didn't I? That's part of why I'm having some challenges. <clears throat> Use scissors to cut apart tray as shown in picture. They think of everything. All right, so. So this is a mixing thing. So we're we're gonna load some dough into these buckets. Oh man, I wonder how much how many donuts I'm actually gonna be able to make. I wonder if I'll only be able to make like two. <laughs> Press dough balls into donut molds in the tray. Mold and remove donuts. Mold and remove donuts. Place them on the packing pouch. All right, that that's the part I don't know. What's the packing pouch? That's one I'm not clear on. Packing pouch. Place them on. <laughs> I guess we're going to make four donuts total. <clears throat> Let me make uh, one of the others. Uh, 
Oh man, it would be a crack up to send these to uh, my favorite YouTubers and see if they take the time to make them. That would be a blast to watch them make this too. Or similar packs. Boom! Boom shakalaka. This almost re this reminds me of a bunt pan really. That is so freaking funny. Oh, um, make one of each. So, vanilla donut, chocolate donut. Vanilla bunt cake, chocolate bunt cake. Oh, man. Yeah, people I would love to see make this stuff. Uh, Laura Legends. <clears throat> Uh, Ms. Darth Barbie, a.k.a. Krista. Oh my gosh, uh, that Star Wars girl, Anna. Um, neon and geeky sparkles of Clownfish TV. I think they and their uh, kids would have a blast with this if they don't already do this. Oh man, that gives me an idea I should probably get pick up a bunch of these and send them their way that would be so funny so funny Well, this is going to be a big one. Boom! Whoa! Oh, man. All right, so. That part is done. Make vanilla sauce. All right, so we're making a bunch of sauces now. I think we're done with the molding tray because I'm out of dough. Literally. Um, you know what? I wonder if this is considered the the uh, packing no wait it said packing pouch I got a pouch but isn't that for frosting I don't know um let's see here add powder from the blue packet to section heart Oh my gosh, all right, so uh, you're not, you're probably not going to be, oh, you can sort of see it. So this is portion heart, this is portion star. You can see it at the bottom of the little basin. All right, so blue packet goes into the heart. Even though I have scissors, you can actually tear these pouches open without them. All right. Oh my gosh, am I going to be able to fit this in here? All right, let's let's form ourselves a little shovel here, or a spout, I mean. Blue goes into the heart, which is this one. I wonder if I was only supposed to do part of the pouch. Add add powder from the blue packet. Add one triangle cup of water and mix well. All right. I think that's possibly where I went wrong because in order to have the room to stir it, um, 
Maybe I should have done half a packet because it did say just add. It didn't say pour the whole contents. So check this out. So the triangle cup has uh, the proper measuring amount plus it's got a built-in spout. Isn't that a trip? Let's see. So... Alright, so we got that. Um, where did I put my spoon? Oh, here. Mix well. Man, you know what's also kind of cool about this is it's sort of teaching you a little bit about chemistry. Oh my gosh, you know, <clears throat> people in the military, oh man, what a trip. Depending on the chemical you get, you uh, the result is different textured items. I just had to taste that vanilla icing. Oh my gosh, this is pretty decent. Yum. Make strawberry sauce in the star. <clears throat> All right, so. I'm going to just pour the whole amount. Heck with it. I bet you're supposed to uh, do far less so that you can use up each of the frostings quickly and then reuse the same two tubs for the other two flavors of frosting. Because I do have... Uh, a black package which is chocolate cream and then oh well actually hold on the other one is one's chocolate sauce powder the other is crumbs all right so that's gonna be strawberry one triangle cup of water. Oh, shoot. I love the fact that they thought things through and actually included a little spout. Can you imagine having a job as one of these designers of tiny do-it-yourself foods? I wonder how much those people earn. Anyway, uh, uh, getting back to that other topic. So, those in the military, they eat these things or they're trained to get used to eating these things called MREs. I got family and friends who are, have had been and are in the military, so I glean a little knowledge here and there <clears throat> but I forget exactly what MRE stand for I could always look it up but it, I think it's military rations emergencies for emergencies maybe but it's like foodstuffs that you would use like in uh, if you are ever like stranded or whatever and you need something in your body, like concentrated protein, for example. Sorry, I went off camera unintentionally while I was stirring this. All right. Uh, so that make chocolate pen. Add powder from the black packet to section musical note.
Where's this uh, section musical note? Oh, wait. Wait, no. Uh... Oh! Oh, the one that I made the dough in is a mu musical note one. Okay. So, we add the black stuff to it. Anyway, what I was trying to say is, I wonder if our boys and girls in the military would appreciate and like getting some of these kinds of things, these like do-it-yourself tiny kits, or if it would just piss them off and make them irritated as all get out. Because uh, if I uh, release a comic or something, and I do an Indiegogo campaign. Let's see. The frosting needs one triangle cup of water. Mix well, fold down the top of the squeezing bag and put sauce into it. Fold the top back up and twist. Use scissors to cut off one corner as shown. All right. Um, yeah, so we just need one triangle cup. Let's get the spoon out of the strawberry frosting. This is so freaking funny. Yeah, so. Oh man, pure sugar. I think Anna would get a kick out of this. Anna, that Star Wars girl. I don't know. I have a feeling I might need to add more water than just that triangle cup. Oh, well, actually, no. This is uh, the kind of frosting you squirt on with a pastry bag. Um, yeah, so... Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, this would be a kick to send to some of my favorite YouTubers. Okay, so, uh, <clears throat> but what I was also trying to say is, uh, let's see, whoops, hold on. So what you do whenever you're into doing baking and decorating and you're like baking, uh, I mean, whenever you're doing, doing anything like cakes or cupcakes oh man so uncoordinated right now and doing <clears throat> frostings you get yourself a, a plastic bag to use for piping oh shoot I was hoping not to do that and then you fold over the top of the bag and you do like so. Hopefully not as messy as I'm doing. Boom, 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 quack, quack, boom, 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 quack, quack, dun, 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 dun. Ah, yum. <coughs> and then you fold it back up. So you have your full bag again. And then what you do is you is you push all the chocolate to one corner, all the frosting to one corner. And then you kind of close off the end, the opposite end. And then you clip off this corner 
and then you have yourself a piping tube. Uh, let's see here. Use scissors to cut off one corner soon in the picture. Decorate donuts. However you like with vanilla sauce, strawberry sauce, chocolate sauce, sprinkles, and crumbs. All right. What I really should do, um, well, move my candy hamburgers over. <clears throat> Get my donuts. And I don't think I'm going to use this anymore. I don't think I'm going to use this anymore. And I got to open Before I open the frosting, I think what I'll do is I'll open the sprinkles. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. They didn't go super cheap with the sprinkles either. They could have just done regular sprinkles but they include little hearts as well oh my gosh cute factor all right i'm just going to cut off a corner so that it's a little more controlled and then for the crumbs i guess the same thing And I'm guessing things will stick better if I apply frosting first. Going back to the other story I never finished. If I uh, if I uh, do a comic book and then I do an Indiegogo campaign at one of the stretch goals, I was thinking, what if I, you know, there's all this talk about on. Uh, campaigns as of late as part of the campaign <clears throat> excuse me offering to send a number of your books to uh, to our boys and girls in the military What if I send a bunch of these, as well as my books, to the military? I think they crack up, to be honest. Alright, so let's see here. Um, I'm trying not to get myself too messy, but obviously I am. Ah! Loaded up with frosting. Man, this is actually good frosting. You wouldn't necessarily expect it to be good, <clears throat> but I like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tonight, tonight, it's time to say good night. La da da, la da da, la da 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 da. I'm actually, oh shoot, I'm going to use up the vanilla on this, and then start in on the strawberry next. I haven't decided, but I might put the chocolate tubed frosting on one of the donuts. Alright, let's see how much I can get on this. 
Sarah, I keep getting going out of view. Sometimes I'm trying to move this closer to myself, but then it gets out of the camera. I want you to be able to see all the glorious messiness. To quote one Deckard Cain, Stay a while and listen. Dun, 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 dun. That's kind of the theme of my channel, I guess, on YouTube. Stay a while and listen. Listen to me ramble on and on forever. Ah, shoot. Oh, frosting all over the place. Uh, let's see. Let's, oh shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Oh man, I just thought of someone else who would probably enjoy this and get a kick out of it. Oh man, ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> Oh man, I gotta. Oh jeez, oh what a mess! Ah, mm -hmm. that's my Godzilla impression. Mm -hmm. That's one of my. Or renditions of Chewbacca. All right, so so we got that. Oh, let's do the. Oh man. Teenage Mutant Ninja Donuts. Teenage Mutant Ninja Donuts. Teenage Mutant Ninja Donuts. Donuts with the frosting, donut power. All right. Oops. Did I get it? All right. Looks like I did. All right. So, you know what? Let's see. We got crumbs. 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 Anyone recognize that? That's from Danger Mouse. I used to watch that cartoon when I was a kid. Let's see. Since my left hand is already really messy with frosting, I'm going to use my left hand to hold on to this. Well, I hadn't originally planned to do this, but I'm kind of doing a flower pattern just being a flower child all right well all right you know you shall not pass there's my gandalf impression Man, there's surprisingly a lot of uh, chocolate frosting. Look how much I'm covering. Oops. He says squirting bits and pieces. So as you, uh, it, you, you gently push the back of the uh, frosting tube we're gonna have chocolate all around hey holla all right mmm ch 
chocolate. Mm -hmm. Chocolate. All right, so let's go with crumbs. 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 Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can put this down without getting myself dirty. Oh, failed. <coughs> failed. Fail in the place where you live. Dun, dun, dun. Pick it up. Makes you wonder why you failed in the first place. Fail in the place where you were. Alright, let's do... Whoa, shoot. Ugh. Crumbs. More crumbs. I basically want to use all this up. I want to use up the ingredients. Whether or not it looks good. <laughs> I was trying to be pretty. Me so, me so pretty. Uh, me so pretty. Uh, let's see. So we got that. And then we got sprinkles. So let me see if I can show the these to you what I was... Man... See, I think I did a real good job with this uh, vanilla frosting and the chocolate line, so I'm just going to, I'm going to mess up the other ones. All right, so let me show you here. Here's what I'm talking about. You know, an average candy kit, you might be lucky if you just get the sprinkles only, but look at this, it's got hearts in it too. That's like kicking it up a notch. As Emerald would say, Emerald Lagasse. Yeah, so we're going to kick it up a notch. Bam! Bam, 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 bam! 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 Bam, bam, bam! That's my Emerald Lagasse. Or as my Martin Yan of Yan Can Cook fame would say, What the heck? All right. So here is the finished Jumbo Supreme Mega Donuts. This one's my favorite because it looks like an actual donut. Uh, let's try these. It's taking me a long time to respond or say anything because there's all that chewing. Okay. Um, it's not, not bad, but I am generally not a fan of the texture or consistency of the quote-unquote dough. It's made of a, what do they call it? Custard. Because um, textures that are like semi gummy or uh, gelatinous kind of freak me out. But then all the frostings and the candy toppings and the crumbs and the crunch from them kind of make up for it. But definitely worth trying at least once. And they're fun to make. It's pretty funny. Mm. Uh, 
Oh, good gracious. Fini. Wow. So, I think I'm going to get uh, hit with a sugar high. I'm not sure if it's going to be as potent as uh, Harley Quinn getting a, an insta boost of uh, co uh, snorting cocaine. But wow. Ooh, wow. Eat all that at once. And it was tasty. All in all, once I got over the the semi gelatinous kind of uh, consistency of the donut dough, quote unquote, dough itself. All right, so I gotta clean this up. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on this journey of grub, grub, grubbing on the one, grub, grubbing on the one, uh, where we try out fun, new, new, different, even bizarre Insta foods for better or for worse. And also, thank you for joining Wise Guys Entertainment. This was your host, Wyman. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, when you subscribe, mark the notifications so that you hear back whenever there's something new coming out. And I will see you next time.